Hello, my name is uh, Oren, and today I'm going to uh, discuss the implementation of the Flexilent triad in uh, the Flexilent. So uh, let's share my screen. So Flexilent implementation of license server uh, redundancy. So how is it implemented? Um, it's all based on three license servers that works together in something that called Quorum, and it's demonstrated here. You can see the license software, and it can connect any of the license servers and get the license. The whole idea is that if one fails, the whole triad continues to work, and this way the service is uninterrupted. Um, basically, only one is acting as a master and can demonstrate it here. So if uh, one fails, the other gets the master uh, position. Uh, everything is fully automatic. So once you configure it, it works uh, um, um, well. Uh, and each server knows everything. And I will explain that in the next slide. So you see one fail then the license software goes to the second one. And if the second one fails, then the whole trial fails. So let's see that here. Uh, I want to show you the license file before, because as, as uh, I wrote in the previous slide, you get a license file for three server, which is unique. Basically, there is one server line, and you see the server definition here. Um, and then another one and another one. Uh, and there is this line um, that defines the heartbeat interval. We'll go into that in the next slide. So um, let, let's see um, in, in this slide how, how it works. So we see that there is a primary server, secondary and the third one. We have three servers. And uh, the, the primary is doing everything. He's serving licenses, he's doing the log. You won't find all the other information everywhere, but they know the status. Then that because of the heartbeat interval, let's demonstrate that. So this is the primary. And um, once it fails, the primary uh, position goes to the secondary. Um, and once this one fails, then the whole triad uh, fails and, and the cluster is actually uh, not serving any licenses. Um, so, okay, now in the client, we need to, uh, there are different methods how to configure it. So I can, configure any one of the servers and get service. But if it fails, then I'm down. So in order to get a continuous server service, I need to define all three of them uh, in the client. So that's one, one way to do it. Uh, the second way is to say, no, I, I will uh, use a load balancer and I will configure a group, let's say, license click servers can be anything and um, the load balancer can use any policy to boot the request it can be first the master then the second and so on or any of them it, it works anyway and um, and this way the client doesn't need to have all the servers configured in it which is uh, not a good way to not a good implementation, I think. Uh, the other uh, method is something unique to OpenLM. OpenLM uh, router does everything for you and um, provides a lot more uh, capabilities and, and uh, benefits as related to that. So um, let's summarize today's uh, session. So uh, FlexLM implementation of 
the license server redundancy is based on three license server which works together in in a core uh, based on our customer feedback uh, it's very hard to manage and maintain it over time so people are not uh, very happy with it it's not 100 percent reliable and i'm saying that based on customers and on my experience it worked fine for me but um, that's that's what i'm my experience is um, the the i think the the, the biggest downside is that uh, when one goes when two goes down the, the last one is not functioning anymore doesn't make sense and the other thing is that um, you need most people need to configure all license servers in the client which adds to the complexity and maintenance install free configure configure everything in the client it's a lot of work uh, as i said openlm router is also solving that so thank you for joining today looking forward to meeting you next time